Hi folks, Bill McClure, field agronomist here for Pioneer Hybrid in East Central Nebraska. If you're like many growers, the questions for 21 growing season around what to do on soybeans and the systems I'll be able to incorporate are fresh on your mind. You're thinking about making plans and not sure which way to go. I wanted to give you just a few comments regarding where Pioneer's at in the technologies, what we'll be able to offer for 2021 and give you a little peace of mind that I think any of the systems we talked about here should suit you quite well. Uh, following the right uh, systems on herbicides and using layered approaches and things like that, I think you can make any of these systems work for controlling uh, those troublesome weeds. Just have to mind your P's and Q's and I think things usually will fall into place pretty well. When you think about the extend system, we've been using it the last uh, several years now it's been a key part of what many of us have been doing. The beans are solid. They're the newest of the new with A-series involved from us. And uh, we're glad of what we see performance-wise and how that package works. You might be thinking the Liberty system. Uh, we've got several growers that are using Liberty and the Liberty uh, soybean lines to great success. Uh, A-series varieties incorporated into that as well, giving you the performance you're looking for using the glufosinate herbicide system works pretty well. Uh, the newest of the new on the block is the E3 technology. So when you're thinking about another way to go, the E3 soybeans are those beans that allow you to use a combination of either glyphosate, which is Roundup, the glufosinate system, the Liberty, and even 2,4-D in the form of 2,4-D clonoline as an over-the-top or even burn-down type applications with these E3 soybeans. Pioneer will be in the position to offer a nice lineup of varieties in the E3 segment as well from 2.2 maturity clear up to 4.0. Uh, so you'll have a good choice there. You'll have an ability to mix and match varieties in that line as well that gives a, a good opportunity for weed performance, control those troublesome weeds in one of the newest systems on the market. We're aggressively moving towards the E3 system for uh, starting in 2021. Uh, but we will be in a position to offer uh, growers choices, whether it be Extend, whether it be the Liberty Program, whether it be this new E3 system, and even uh, the Plenish uh, line of soybeans, the Plenish opportunities with high lake oil and the, the soybean varieties and end users need for and contracting in 2021 there too. Talk to your sales rep about any of these options. There's a lot of good ones there. Hopefully so. this helps clear it up a little bit. They'll have more information though. Thank you, have a good one. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.